All right, guys, this is build video part two. Just going to show you guys quickly what's going on. Excuse me, where we're at. First, I hook up the negative input, positive gate input, and I'm just going to show you continuity. I'm just going to apply 12 volts from this pin, transferring it with the switch over to this pin. It's connected underneath by a 10 ohm, again, 10 ohm gate resistor. <clears throat> That's charging the gate rail up it's, it's working to use a x amount of time that's what that ohm resistor is being used for the time how long it's taking to charge that gate rail and i'm using a 1k pull down resistor which i'll zoom in and show you in a minute to uh, close that we're not using a a gate driver or nothing like that i'll show you the diodes how they get installed here and everything like that for the back uh voltage spike in the next video this is just part two showing it turning on and off how we're going to click in the timing board this is going to be i'm going to make two timing boards uh, an a stable mode 555 timer circuit that will be fully adjustable and uh, i actually blew the one up i was going to test last night i had i didn't mark the wires i used two red wires and i hooked up it backwards anyways so that i'm going to make two boards so if that happens again you can just plug it in and out and for maybe other guys who aren't feeling comfortable with doing that kind of circuitry this would be made so you can just buy something and plug it in also Maybe off eBay for like three or ten bucks, or uh, use um, the style I used to use on my welders that I use to prove that these MOSFET setups work. Uh, the relay setups, I'll do one of those and uh, five 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 timer A stable mode setup. So right now I'm just going to be showing you continuity between the input and the output from uh, using twelve volts to positive to apply the on to the rail to the gate rail. The pull down resistor shuts it off. See? So whatever I press it for, that's what we get. <clears throat> so that's usually my first test to make sure everything's good, everything's hooked up, everything looks amazing, which it does. Um, now, we, like I said, we know these, these spot welders work. I'll go over in the next video where I put the diodes, why they're there. You know, I have uh, usually some sort of recycled sorry, parts, usually from power supplies or whatever you're going to have these uh high voltage fast acting or fast rectifying diodes or whatever the fuck they're called usually have a couple of those and i take the positive end and hook it up to the this is on the negative of the battery hook the po positive end on here so any back positive spike will shoot it to the positive of the battery you can see on this cable i have two in there Okay, and then I have another one on here, and I'll talk about that in the next video. This is just showing, hey, what we're doing is clean and mean, it's tight, check it out, tell your friends. Uh, sub up and make sure to check it out and stay tuned for the next one, okay? Uh, so I showed you it working, so I'm going to do a detailed on the, the resistors now. Now, this resistor's RDS on, it, I believe it was like 0 0.0059 ohms or something like that <clears throat> so that's why i went with a 10 ohm on uh gate resistor and i'm using a 1k pull down resistor now i have one of the mosfets here to show you that on the back this is the drain right this is what i have connected here i'm running the resistor right beside it but you can see there's clear isolation there right and the hole is isolating it too so just for if you guys are wondering there's no way it's going to come into contact there. And then on the back, give me a second. I have the, from the input pin, first pin there, or the last pin, whatever you want to call it. The, this is a 10 ohm resistor. Okay. Now, you, if you see a couple of MOSFET spot welder and like a little tiny battery on YouTube, it's got like a 10K or a 1K gate resistor. There's not a lot of resistance from the battery, you know what I mean? So taking the MOSFETs a little longer to turn on might not be an issue, but from what I experience, you want a low ohm gate resistor because you want them to turn on. You don't want them turning on as fast as possible, but you don't want a large resistive load sitting there on the sitting there, basically trying to run through the MOSFETs while you're partially turning on, saying, Oh, I'm just partially turning on, just waiting for just waiting a little bit for you know everything to be perfect. 
that can be a bit of an issue and cause some heat issues and degradation, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's just my opinion. So um, I think that's pretty much it. You guys seen that we have the 1K pull down resistor. It's connected from the source rail to the gate rail in the back. And then we have the gate rail in the back connected to the positive input voltage that we're waiting for. And we have the 10 ohm resistor working as a little, uh, you know, the to regulate the on off, the regulate the on, the speed of the on, okay? So hopefully that's clear. And uh, like I said, I'll come back and give two wiring diagrams of the PC for the PCB board and all the parts for the timing for a stable mode 555 timer and for a five pin and a four pin pair up auto set relay capacitor timer setup. And I'll do some actual welds and show you guys all working and we'll do temp watch and temp control or whatever, whatever kind of ideas some guys might have. Make sure to come check out the Facebook group, DIY18650. Great group of gentlemen. We're all about helping each other out, okay? And uh, there's never no arguing or never no issues. So everyone's civil there. And um, also make sure to like and subscribe, guys. I know a lot of guys like to private message me asking me questions, but you know, uh, it's the subscribing to the channel that's going to keep me motivated to help you guys. And uh, it, I really appreciate it. Okay, guys. So uh, again, hope everyone's having a great day. I am. It's actually my birthday today. So I'm going to go take a break from this stuff and go outside and hang out with the kids, maybe barbecue or whatever. So cheers. Everyone have a good one.